Hi, this is going to be a Marshall slash thrift haul. I'm going to start off with Marshalls because there's only a couple things I can show you. But I got these shoes. They're just sandals. I wanted a dressier type sandal. And it's really hard for me to find dress shoes that fit because I have really wide feet. But these fit really nicely. And they're actually pretty comfortable because they got like this kind of suede bottom. And these were $24, which is a little bit more than I like to pay because I'm cheap. Because that's one thing about thrifting is you become really, really cheap, <laughs> especially when it comes to like clothing and any kind of apparel because you know you can get it at the that. You know you can get it at a thrift store really you know, much cheaper. When it comes to shoes, as I said, I have wide feet, so it's not easy for me to find shoes. So if I find something that fits and is not super outrageous and I have the money, I'll get it. So that's those. They're White Mountain. I don't, never heard of them, but yeah, it's got a little bit of a heel. Very comfortable, not hard to walk in or anything. So. I got those, and then I got this little lipstick holder. This was $4. I'm probably not going to put lipstick in it. I'll probably end up putting some kind of vaping devices or whatever in it. But I figured for $4, or I could put my makeup, well, makeup brush is probably be too big. But yeah, I'll find a use for it. Now onto the clothing, I'll start off with Goodwill, because I have less products from there because Goodwill to me, again being cheap, is a little bit more on the expensive side, but the be benefit of going there opposed to my favorite store which is Value Village or Value World is that Goodwill has changing rooms so you can try on the clothes and they also are a lot better organized, whereas like Value World is just like everything's kind of everywhere and it's kind of jam-packed. but. Anyway, I got this shirt from Champion. I guess it's like a, because Champion's like a workout clothing brand. But it, this one's brand new. It still has the tags on it. I, I like it because it's hot pink and striped. And I love stripes, apparently. <laughs> Obviously, whatever. But it's like a long sleeve, really thin shirt. So, you know, you'll have to wear a tank top or something under it. But this was $4. But I really like it. And then this other one I got, not this last time, but the time before it. I believe I paid $6 for it. This one was brand new as well. The reason I got it is because it's Hello Kitty. And both me and my friend got matching shirts. This one fits kind of weird because it's probably supposed to be for a little girl so it's not very uh, boob friendly because it really like I don't know it's a really high neckline and I don't know I'll probably end up cutting like, more of like a V shape to it just because it is so high up but I love Hello Kitty and I love pink so that one's that and then I got this dress this was actually half off and it doesn't fit me yet. Like it it fits but it doesn't fit well if you know what I mean. But I really liked the dress and since it was half off I figured I'd get it because it was only two dollars. But it's by Murmur. I've never heard of them. But it's like this I don't know why it reminds me of like the army or something, but I don't know. I think it looks cool. I don't know if it's supposed to be a shirt, but it comes down a little bit past my butt. But considering the fact that it's a little bit small, it'll probably lay further down once I lose weight. But I figured for $2, it was definitely worth it. And then the back's kind of like western. And like there's pockets in the front. I don't know. I like those type of clothing. And then the rest of this is from Value Value World. I keep wanting to call it Value Village because that's what it used to be called in Michigan, which is where my grandma would always go. But it's Value World. This one 
is from Candies, and Candies makes nice clothing. It was a dollar. It's just a striped shirt. Again, I like stripes. <laughs> and then this one I got a little bit ago, but I just happen to have it over here. And it's by the brand 21. And it looks like that. It's very cute. This one is a little bit small, but it is a small, so it's not really surprising. But for a small, it's pretty big. And if I continue losing weight, which I plan on it, eventually it'll fit into it. And then this next one was marked down 215. And it's from Maggie. Maggie something. Maggie London. I think this one's like a vintage type dress. But it's just like. I don't know, it's kind of plain, but I like the color and the cut of it for like work, like if I ever get an office job. And this one again is a little bit small, but I mean, I hope to fit into it. I mean, that's the thing about thrifting that's really cool. One of the things is that if you're in the process of losing weight or if you fluctuate in weight a lot like I do, it's a lot better to get your clothing from there. Because that way, if you don't wear the item for like a long time or ever, it's not that big of a deal because you only spend a couple dollars on it. Because like, as I said, my weight fluctuates a lot. So one of the last times that I was in the process of losing weight, I got clothes that were way too small that I never ended up fitting into. And they were brand new from, you know, teenager stores because I was, you know, younger back then. I spent at least $100 easy probably closer to 200 on clothing I never even got to wear. So that sucks. So this one is kind of like a dress or a long shirt. It is by, looks like Lulu Vid or something. I don't really know. Nothing that I've seen before. I do believe that I'll have to do some, a little bit of work to it because it's got like this paper or this uh, safety pin there, but it was $2.45 as you can see by the tag. But I thought it was cute because it's got this really cool back to it. Like it's got this little thing that goes across the back. But I don't know. I thought it was cute. But yeah, I'll definitely probably have to wear leggings with it eventually. And this nice item is nothing special but it was super cheap and I thought it was cool but it, it was 3 25 or 35 I can't tell which one that is but it's by Coldwater Creek which I've been told is like an old person store but I don't really care like I have a pair of pants from there that I absolutely love they're my favorite kind of button-up pants because most of the stuff I wear is either stretchy or dresses because you know I'm bigger so it's hard for me to find jeans and stuff that fit properly because like I have a big ass <laughs> but anyway it's just a dress it's pretty plain but I figured if it's like really super ugly I can just wear it to bed because dresses are comfortable especially when they're you know there's no zipper or anything like that it's just kind of like a straight piece of fabric but I don't know it's super comfortable and only three dollars so I got it and then this one I actually was wearing earlier with this top and it's by Fashion Bug it's just a really cute skirt I really like it it's pretty comfortable even for like a zip up type which I try to avoid but it's cute especially for like a business type like office setting and it's not too short. It goes past my knees. And the next one is from Apostrophe Essentials. And they're like slack kind of capris. I love pinstripes, which is another thing. I guess I just like lines. I don't really know. But I thought they were really cute. These were three... 60 something. 
That's the thing about some of these tags, they're really hard to read because they just kind of scribble them. It's like one continuous line of writing. It's like cursive number writing. And then I got these, which are way too small, but they were super cheap and I thought they were cute. So these were $1.95 by Larry Levine. Never heard of them. I don't know that I'll ever get the small, but, you know, goals. <laughs> Again, with the kind of like pinstripe type thing. So that's those. And I got the shirt. This was super cheap. It was only 89 cents. This one's from Deb. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the pearls on it or not. Like, it looks, it might not look as good, you know, when I hold it up as it does on, but it's actually a really nice shirt when it's on. And for 89 cents, I don't really think you can pass that up, but let me know if you think I should take off these pearls or not. I kind of like them because without it they'd be kind of plain, but I don't know. I'm ambivalent. The next pair of pants actually fit me, which I was surprised, but they are kind of stretchier. But these are from Space Girls. I've never heard of it. These were $2.29. And these are Capris. These are very good quality. Like, if someone wore this, they didn't wear it for long or often. They yeah, got little pockets and little strings that you can, like, scrunch it up if you want. And, again, with the stripes. And the last thing I got was a shirt. This again was kind of small, but it's like a big, large, and it's by Unity Casuals, and it was $3. But I thought it was cute, because I don't really have anything that's orange. So I thought that would be really, really cute for the summer. So yeah, that's everything I got. I only spent like, it's like 40 something dollars for all of those, with the exception of, you know, well, all the value world stuff was like 40 something dollars, with the exception of the couple of pieces that I got separately from like a while ago. Like, I have a ton of thrift clothes or whatever from previously that I've taken the tags off. I've meant to do a video on, but my lighting situation was bad. I think I finally found something that works, but. If you're interested, I can do a haul of all my thrift clothes. I'll try to break it down so it's not super long because it would be like an hour long if I did everything. The only thing is, is like, I won't know exactly how much I paid for it because, of course, I've taken the tags off because I've worn them and everything. But honestly, like, with the excep exception of one dress, which I didn't show you, that was like the bulk of the 40 whatever dollars because it was so like $16 or something, which is like ridiculous to me as far as like thrifting goes, but it was a really nice dress in my opinion and it was really cute so I ended up getting it and it looked like it was really good quality so eventually I will show you that but it's just I'm washing it. But anyway, so that's like one of the mo most expensive items that I paid for and the other thing I paid close to that was another dress but it was like brand new from like a, not like a higher ended brand, but something decent. It was like Aeropostale or something. I couldn't even tell you, but it was a super cute dress. And I ended up getting it for 50% off because somebody had a coupon. So it ended up not being that bad. But anyway, so if you're interested in that, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like these kind of videos or, and are interested in it. Thrifting is a really good thing to do, and not only that, I don't know if Value World does it, but I know like Goodwill and Salvation Army, like they donate some of the proceeds to underprivileged people. So not only are you getting a good deal on clothing and etc., you know you're also helping people. So that's cool. Anyway, if you have any questions, put them below. Hello.